OP's entitled stepmom demands OP to stop breastfeeding because of her brother. So there is context here. I'm F28 and had my daughter, Etta, three months ago, and my wife, F35 Taylor. My stepmother, Mary, is 45, and my stepbrother, Tom, is 11. Tom and I weren't close until I was pregnant. During the pregnancy, he became really interested in me and the baby and actually became quite clingy and needy toward me. I felt weird, but when I tried to retreat, Mary and my dad said I was being cruel and miserable, and I had the chance to be a good sister, but was being selfish and rejecting him. Along with the pregnancy hormones, it made me feel guilty, so I let him still come around a lot. Taylor has a chilled attitude, so she has kept calm and just said she wants what I want, even though he has become resentful of her. I made it clear she was my wife, and any disrespect to her would mean he had to leave. He became focused on my bump and was touching it all the time. Mary thinks he's autistic, but no doctor has ever diagnosed him. I had Ida three months ago, and she's the best baby ever. She's so perfect and I've loved seeing my wife become a mother. She's a natural at it, and it's dependent on our love for each other. I've decided to breastfeed, and then pump so Taylor can use the bottle to feed as well. It's been going pretty smoothly, and honestly, it's something that allows us to bond with Ida. Often, Taylor will lay with me while I breastfeed, and we will spend time together with Ida sleeping on my chest. Apparently Tom was very angry when he wasn't allowed into the hospital to see me or the baby and he kicked off when we said only my mom and Mill were allowed over until two weeks postpartum. When they did come over, he kept touching Etta's face, even though we had asked not to, as we are both in the medical profession and don't want to expose our newborn to germs. When we had to get firm, Mary told us we were being horrible to a child and needed to stop. I had to feed, so I went to the nursery, but he had followed, and when I started feeding, he came in and watched before I realized he was there, and he stared, asking me questions about breastfeeding. That was fine. But he's been watching me feed whenever he comes over when I don't realize it. And then whenever he's been near me, he started saying booby and reaching for my boobs and saying he wants to try. And it's unfair only Ada gets it. We've tried reminding him that he's a big boy and she's only a baby. But then last week, I woke up from a post-feeding nap to find him on top of me with his hands and face on my chest area. When we tried telling Mary and my dad that this was getting out of hand, she said we were discriminating against his autism and we just didn't understand that I was the special person he focused on, and I should be honored. I told her it had to stop as I was uncomfortable, and Mary said if I wanted him to stop, I would have to stop breastfeeding as it was cruel to tease him without. This is stupid, right? My boobs did get significantly bigger during my pregnancy, and have stayed that way after giving birth, so I could see how he would notice them. But it still feels wrong. Edit for context. We don't live with them. I had a traumatic birth where my planned C-section turned into an emergency one, with me nearly losing all my blood and having to have a transfusion. This has caused me a lot of emotional distress and confusion postpartum, which has made it easier for stepmom to guilt trip me. Taylor is a great wife and mother. However, she is also a doctor, so work is busy, and she has had to carry on working after the first three weeks postpartum. Update. Hi guys. It's been a while, but I still get comments on the OG post so I thought I'd provide a small update. Taylor, and I reinforced our boundaries with Mary and my father regarding Tom. How my only focus was on my baby and wife, and that his obsessive behavior was starting to get inappropriate when he became fixated on my breasts. And while I hoped he was okay and received any help he needed, I had to prioritize my family, so I would be going low contact. This created a SHT storm between Mary and Tom. I was receiving phone calls from Tom all hours of the day and night, screaming and crying down the phone asking why I didn't love him anymore, why I had abandoned him, and why Edda was so much more important to me. Why if I could breastfeed Edda, wouldn't I do the same for him if I actually loved him? With my hormones still all over the place, I let Taylor deal with most of it, and I focused on my health and Edda's health. We asked Mary why she wasn't stopping it and getting Tom help. But she spouted some bullshit about letting him deal with his emotions independently. As I previously mentioned, my wife is a doctor, as am I, but I'm more junior than her. I have since returned to work, so we've been sending Etta to our hospital daycare, which means she gets to socialize with lots of other kids. However, since going back, Tom has called my workplace multiple times, leaving messages for me, which makes me seem like a horrible cow who is ignoring her little brother. The latest news is that he told one of his teachers how I was his special person, which they had already known about during my pregnancy when he'd grown attached. But I had abandoned him and was rejecting him ever since I'd given birth to Etta. He told them that I was punishing him, and it was making him so sad that he'd been coming into school crying. 
This made them call me and almost berate me for how I can't abandon my brother, just because I have a baby now. I explained the inappropriate behavior surrounding myself and my body, and they became more understanding of the situation. My father and Mary have been doing absolutely nothing, except taking him to some sort of non-conventional therapist who preaches independent emotional behavior. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.